Okay, starting with priming my face with Australis Primer. Make sure I get my eye area. Um, okay, Let's prime the face. I'm going to color correct before I start around my eyes. I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in Classic Ivory. Started filming this tutorial and then I used this eyeliner. As you, you can see remnants of it. It's just so sticky and uh, I don't know why I still own it. I should just chuck it out. Oh. All right, now before I start, I'm going to put a uh, white base. I'm using NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm just dabbing this on. Um, I just want a really thin layer. This will make the colors pop more. Um, and then blend it out with my finger again. Now the palette I'm using today is called Oasis. It is by Chi Chi. And we'll be using these colors here predominantly. Okay, with a flat shader brush, we're going to pack that lime green into the inner corner. Like so, and I'm going a little bit past the inner corner because uh, when I'm putting the next color, I'm going to overlay it. Cool. Now we're going in with the this light blue. It has a gold pearlescent uh, finish to it. So we're putting that kind of in the middle of the lid and a bit towards the outer corner. Okay, now for the outer corner, I'm using this really pretty blue. Let's start with the outer corner. I'm kind of forming a V shape at the moment. We'll come and tidy this up later. Actually, I should do the, um, the tape. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the tape trick. All right, let me go find tape. So I can't find uh, my clear tape. So I'm going to look a little bit ridiculous using uh, <laughs> brown packing tape. But the main thing you want with uh, your tape is for it to not be too sticky. How you achieve that is you basically stick it a few times on the back of your hand until it loses its most of its stickiness. And then, then you place the tape on the corner of your eye like so. This way you can get the wings of your V to be symmetrical. So before you even start, you can see. Now make sure the edge is fairly flat. Go back in with that really lovely blue and create the V. And then bring it up into the crease. Then do the same here. What a beautiful color. Look at that. Now I'm going to darken just the uh, crease here with this plum color here. Alright, so that's uh, not darkening at all, but it's a nice effect. Adding a little bit of purple in there. Hopefully this doesn't look too crazy when I take the tapes off. I'm going to go in and create a black winged liner. Alright, Super Shock um, Gel Eyeliner by Avon. Now you want to be careful and not do what I just did, <laughs> where I just ran the pencil into the edge of the tape. Nice and clean. Check that out. That I like. Now I'm going to tight line underneath my lashes on the top waterline. I'm actually going to line the whole inner rim of my eyes. Tight line the bottom. Now you want to make sure there's no gap between your tight lining and the liner on the top. So, you know, get in, in those lashes. 
Now I'm going to bring some of that really pretty blue just on the bottom lashes. And just with a little flat liner brush, just bringing that in right underneath and smudging it out. Then I'm getting some of that lime green, bringing it on the just on the inside here. Taking some of that green and also just creating a shadow underneath the blue. Sort of like a, a glow. Might actually take some of that purple as well and just add it just on the edge there. And I'm creating that kind of like a fish. <laughs> fish tail um, more like a shadow then I'm going to clean up a little bit just in that uh, section between the liners I'm going in with MAC chromographic pencil in what is it NC15 and W20 and just lightening up just that inner V All right, so having that bit of space that I created right there, it's a little gap in the black liner almost. It kind of just opens up your eye. It does for me anyway. Look at that. Ooh. I'm gonna put my mascara last, I think. Just because sometimes you put on mascara and then you powder your face and everything and the mascara ends up looking a little bit. All right, so that's the bulk of the eyes. I might go in and uh, I'm just gonna blend <laughs> using my shader brush to blend for a highlight there is a white white shadow in this palette we can add that just underneath the brow bone oh it's got a little bit of shimmers just like the 80s oh well it's on there now <laughs> maybe look when we zoom out Oh, look at that. I impress myself sometimes, you know. I'm gonna stop there. All right, let's go on to the brows. Um, using my trusty pencil, little tiny thing. It's an e.l.f. brightening eyeliner in coffee. I use it for my eyebrows. And then from here, I go in with a powder product. The one I'm using at the moment is the Tony Moly Party Lover Cake Eyebrow. <laughs> Just on top, soften that uh, penciled in look. That wasn't too bad before, but I just like to soften everything out. Now we're going to go in and finish the rest of the face. I'm going to use MAC in NC20, start with one pump, um, I'm using the Studio Fix Plus, I'll add concealer if I need it when I'm done. Sometimes the, the coverage from this um, foundation is enough. Alright, so you can see just from that one, that was one pump all over my face, made a difference. So obviously I need a bit more concealing around these areas. So what I'm going to do first is add another pump, maybe half a pump, and um, build that area up a bit. Go under the eye. What I like about this foundation, it's matte. Well, a lot more matte than my other ones. Point, I don't want to add any more um, foundation, so I don't want to get cakey. The only place I need a bit more coverage is right here. I'm gonna go in with my prolonged wear concealer. Oops, sorry. Um, my concealer is an NC30. This stuff is really concentrated, so you don't need much. And I'm just going to dab it in like that. Such a powerful concealer. 
Love it. I'm actually going to go in with uh, the brush. So just a little around concealer brush. Just blend that in. All right, so now that we have a flawless base, uh, let's go into uh, contouring. Let's go in with my Australis Bronzer and Sunkissed. It's got a little bit of shimmer, but uh, it's not too bad. Like, it doesn't show up like some crazy shimmer bomb. I'm gonna contour. I actually start at my ear, like literally it's on my ear. <laughs> anyway, right at the ear area down to like your mouth kind of um basically under your cheekbone I concentrate most of the product closer to the ear now with a smaller brush something like this I'm going to take some of that bronzer and put it just at my hairline and another place I put some is just under the jaw behind the ear blend everything in, very tiny amount and that's because sometimes you're contouring from here you end up having this you know quite browny or rosy patch here and then it's absolutely white just under your ear so I just blend it in so you don't see that demarcation line uh, now I'm gonna go in with a nice peachy blush this one here is called Pink Peach, again by Chi Chi, going in with a fluffy round blush brush. And again, concentrating on that top bit. There's a few shimmers in this one, so giving us a little bit of a highlight. Although I will go in with another highlighter. With my blush, I also take it slightly onto my temples. Again, it's all about blending. You don't want to have two red strips right there. This foundation doesn't really need to be powdered. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of a Studio Care Blend MAC pressed powder just in the uh, nose area and on the forehead. I'm just here in the middle. T-zone really. For the lips. Um, hmm. What would I do for the lips? I think a more like a nude, nudie brown would work really well. I've got this color here. It's interesting. It's uh, by Ulta 3 and it's a matte lipstick. It's called Sandalwood. But even though it's matte, it's got like a, like a pearlescent glimmer to it. So, yeah, I like that color. So it has a a shine but it's actually matte that doesn't make sense yeah see hmm and last but not least because i almost forgot eyelashes eyelashes i'm using covergirl clump crusher and i'm loading it on of course you can go in with fake lashes if you like I just never got into them, probably because I'm not really good at putting them on. You know what I like about wearing mascara? You put it at the end and it just brings the whole look together. So now it's been about an hour and I think I'm done with my mascara. <laughs> or not. As I was saying in my previous tutorial, I can sit here with the mascara for hours just perfecting every eyelash now this is the finished look I must say that I quite like it I really like that tape technique I think I'm going to incorporate that more in my looks from now on all right so here we go I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it out and if you do Link your video in the comments below and uh, I'll come check it out.